It took a few months of advanced planning to make sure that everything that we need for this trip is aboard. It also took a few weeks of intense preparation to make sure that all that is in proper condition. Now we're just a few last minute things away from setting off for this 5,000 mile trip. It is by far the longest sail for me, non-stop, and the longest sail for this boat. Now we're making new sheets for our Ginny, so it's happy so it doesn't break in six weeks. Ta -da! Ta -da! Ta -da! Like this, now you pull it out, let it hide, and now good luck. You have to you have to sew it just just so that when it goes like this it doesn't go out. But if there was a pressure the whole time, it's impossible. Because this thing only all, all it does, the more you push, the more you pull, the more con it constricts on the other rope. So there, it's just not going out. Period. Tak to byla zasvěcená diskuze. Děkuji soudruhu. A teď uvidíte soudruha Pičáka. Od druhá kapitána Pičáka. Good morning everybody, so we landed, we landed in Paris today uh, after a sleepless night so and now we got uh, almost three hours uh, here there's absolutely nothing here so and he's got so much energy as you can see from Cuba look at him it's like a, look at my eyes I'm so tired and they are getting more energetic I don't know how it's possible yeah yeah so I'm taking a flight with Ryaner to Krakow and then my parents gonna meet us over there they're gonna wait for us and then we're gonna have three hours to go to my parents house in a car so it's a long trip okay Okay, look at this, we are the only one here. We are in Krakow. We are totally the, uh, the only one. It's empty. Oh. Are you ready to meet grandparents? Yes? Okay, so let's go. It's all. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
good morning so next morning i woke up like that it's spring in poland <laughs> after sleeping uh, i think 14 hours uh, i woke up like a, in the middle of the night really tired after two coffee and some uh, chat with my parents i decided that the spring and sun uh, made me really uh, motivated to go outside to the garden and practice yoga and Bartek was laughing because I got uh, uh, two uh, suitcases yesterday and it was all, almost over uh, over the size but I took my yoga mat my favorite one here it's beautiful and yeah so I decided to do yoga today and I feel really grateful I'm happy I got a lot of energy now and maybe not lots of energy but it's quite better and yeah, in a minute, in a minute, I'm gonna talk to Bartek, and yeah, they are almost ready to uh, cross. Last uh, preparation, we're really excited, and yeah, and uh, I hope they're gonna have a smooth sailing because I would like to uh, meet them really, really soon. The crew is amazing; they're really a uh, lot of fun, and they're really helpful. So I'm not uh, scared, and really feel safe about Bartek and the crew. All right, guys. This is this is gonna be a prank of the day. We're gonna our our part of our crew went for a hike on the, on this mountain on the, over there, and uh, and they left the dinghy at the dock. Uh, so I'm gonna swim up over there. I have a spare set of keys. Unlock it. Take it up here. Hide it. Hide it behind. I mean below the between the holes so that they cannot see it from uh, f from above. And uh, and when they come over, I'm gonna try to use the other camera with the zoom to uh, to record the faces for you. Let's see if that works. All right, let's try this. Panowie, znaleźliście dingi, brawo! Czytaj między liniami! Czytaj między liniami, panowie! Ja tak z łagienką zrobiłem przez ciebie! Dowcip to taki... Dowcip jak jest... Znaczy jest świetny! You're probably asking why am I digging up my water maker at night? Well, we're leaving tomorrow. Hopefully, if FedEx gets here. And this is the last opportunity to dig it up uh, so that in case if I bought a wrong membrane, uh, wrong filter, uh, then I can find it out and exchange it tomorrow. Uh, so, and why did I didn't do it earlier? Because, uh, because um, there was just so much other stuff going on around the boat and I also spent, uh, just before Anya went to sleep, I spent a lot of time uh, passing on to her a lot of personal things, you know, to take care of, to be aware of when I'm gone for like five, six weeks, who knows. So now's the time. <sighs> so I'm changing all the filters, the water pump, the new pump and the new membrane. So the water maker should be as new, I'm hoping. So wish me luck. 
So I woke up to a very happy picture that I looked uh, at the water level and it went from uh, 510 uh, to 6, 670 uh, in the five hours that I slept after I fixed the water maker. So looks like we're going to have some uh, l luxuries, luxurious uh, passage if the water maker is working the way it's working. So I'm quite happy with my job yesterday. <laughs> now we have to check if our FedEx uh, from Garmin has arrived because that's the only thing that's holding us up anymore. So we'll see. The big shopping is on. Check it out. It's crazy. This is the shopping for... This is the last shopping. This is after two big shoppings. Ania, wszystko mamy? The shopping is done! Almost! What's the latest project for the ocean? The big net for the veggies and the fruits that's gonna end up here under the, under the ceiling. Andre is our Andre is our friend from uh, from San Lucia when we were stuck there and during lockdown, and uh, he just came over and he uh, uh, devised a new way to make mahi mahi. Uh, Andre, how you make mahi mahi the best way possible? On the sandwich toaster. We bought sandwich toaster, <laughs> electrical. <laughs> I gotta take a but picture. Yeah, but it was very, very tasty. You know? <laughs> I bet. <laughs> But for the time being, there's some lunch being made here, and look at this, look at this. Pavel made a really nice net for the for the uh, for the fruits and vegetables that we have in as long as possible. Uh, All right, we're on our way officially. Who's hiding? Who's hiding? Anya's hiding. Anya's hiding. All right, Anya, you happy? Yes. That we're on our way. Peter, very happy. Last last chance to jump. No. I want to go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so right behind me is St. Martin and we're on our way by St. Martin and let's see, Pavel is taking us away from the anchorage and we're just gonna have a small stop on the beach for a swim and then off we go for the 5,000 mile trip Okay guys, so we're not on the way yet. We're, we just stopped in this really pretty place, Happy Beach, to uh, just take a last swim and uh, ground. And guess what happened in the meantime? Jacek decided to email a love letter to his girlfriend and it turned out that our email is not working. So we were just now going crazy here between all our phones and tablets and the roofing train to reset everything so that it's actually working. And I think we found... Uh, Culprit. Anyway, yeah, I just reset the password and reinstalled a few things and it looks like it should work. Let's see. Email. No, I give up. This one doesn't this one doesn't show either. Doesn't show this one? Yeah, this one doesn't show. I don't understand that so it's it's, what about, it's, what about it's the same it's the same situation like if you go like uh, this uh, picker yeah like the like the template so it turns out you have to be a bit of a IT guy in order to cross the Atlantic <laughs> seriously well we got it worked out we got the, our main tablet to pick up the messages and we can actually see them because we've seen it picking up and then they were just like disappearing somewhere so we had no idea what's going on now it's good and I'm gonna see yeah, this is good. Yep. So it took. Uh, I'm glad we did it now because it's the, on, the the only way to do it. Well, I don't know if it was the only way to do it, but nevertheless, I I killed the whole Iridium mail and web. I de I deinstalled it, and then I reinstalled it from the net, and clean from scratch. And now it's working good. So we can email you guys. Let's go to Poland. Yes. Let's go to Poland. Jim. Yeah. Let's go to Poland. 
Jedziemy? Ptaszki? Musimy! <laughs> Let's go to Poland! Right, well, I don't blame him. I mean, guys, just look around. Take, take, take a look. I mean, it's like, seriously? You want to leave this place? No, but I miss my family. I miss my friends. It's time. It's time we move. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Alright! Who's, who's, who's got the anchor remote? In my drawers? These drawers? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Jacek, Jacek decided that there's no way we're gonna leave without uh, uh, champagne toast, so. Oh well. So we're far it didn't work, so we're trying whatever we can. By the way, I don't know if you guys see this, but I am so proud of this crew. Check it out. How they made this really nice net and it doesn't go back and forth. And it was really a team effort. I mean, Pavo did most of the installation, but the thought was collective. It's awesome. I love it. So hopefully this fruit and, and veggies will survive quite a long time. So, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. Robert! 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 Biezim, biezim! Biezim, biezim! Biezim, To a 5,000 mile trip! Cheers! Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. So it's very boring and very fast. Yes. No surprises. Mm. There are a few occasions where I actually do drink a little bit of alcohol. This is it. This is one of them. See you guys in Poland. So uh, apparently, to the, apparently to the old, uh, according to the old, uh, uh, what is Tradition. it? Tradition. Yes, that the, we we give a little bit of champagne to, to Neptune Last as well. Ta da! All right, let's go. So we were both. <laughs> so we were both changing the the right sheet for the main for the main sail the other day, and it turns out that it's way too short. So now we got to change it again. Teraz to już timing. Our main sail has this mechanism that causes the top of the sail to attach to the rail on the mast once it's raised. The problem is that when you sail longer, the mechanism wears out. So whenever we sail longer than a few hours, I tend to attach it permanently to the track to save the equipment. That's exactly what we're doing right now. It requires some serious power since it's normally done by the halyard, which is the line that raises the entire sail. The situation is 
that today is exactly this. And this is what we were afraid of. We were afraid of this, this calm, right? Okay. Now, once we move another few days, look what's happening. We're moving yes. and the calm is moving yes. away as well. Yes. So this is good. And if we track a few different models, they're fairly consistent at uh -huh. the same situation. And now look what's happened. Big low just came through. And once we go break through over here around Bermuda, uh -huh. we turn right to the east and we keep on the south side, on the southeast side of that, of that uh, front, right? Perfect. And we remain in a nice fresh breeze uh -huh. from, the, uh, from the south uh, and from the southwest. Awesome. So if this holds, I mean, this could be the best thing ever. And then we just break through over here and we hold steady on this, on this, uh, in front of this front as long as possible. Again, this is, it's not until here that we actually get a northerly wind, but it's not a westerly, uh -huh. it's uh -huh. not an easterly wind, it's a northerly wind. So it should be just fine. And this is where the forecast pretty much ends. Safety briefing is a must before every trip. Here I am showing this little yellow thing, which is an AIS locator, which basically shows a location of men overboard on our chart plotter. I also explain how to use the latest uh, automatic life jacket and show everybody the location and the way to use all the other safety equipment. It's very important that in case of emergency, we are all on the same page. When shit's really bad, you can undo this, these, and go through your crush, okay? And, and look at me here. Before you do that, let's talk really quick. I know it's hard, but we have to uh, we have to have somebody else who knows that you're jumping, okay? No and if it's bad, it's, uh, the block. Ah, okay. Yeah. If it's a, and if it's a really bad uh, weather, we may choose not because we may endanger somebody else. If it's like this, I have no problem you jumping with another jacket, and we'll pick you, come around and pick you up, right? But if it's shitty, we may have to think twice before we endanger another life. Get lucky, we'll turn off the engine and start it again by uh, in Poland. Close to the ice. We have a flying fish that just landed. I was about to go to sleep and all of a sudden I'm getting this like crazy, uh, crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, noise on the roof. Let me go get it. Oh, poor thing. Alright, it's overboard. Good morning. First day at sea. Uh, we clocked about 120 miles overnight, so it's really good morning and it's near perfect day. I mean, it doesn't get any better. We have uh, about 13 knots of wind uh, reaching, which is straight off the side, um, which allowed us to put up the Jenniker and the mainsail and we're doing now we're doing a little bit less, about 8 knots, but we're doing up to 10 knots. Uh, so we're still keeping the, the speed. But now, the, now, the, now unfortunately the, uh, the wind is dropping off, but that's according to the forecast. Uh, but we're still going, we're still going in the right direction. And um, now the biggest uh, dilemma is where to point uh, in order to avoid the most of the calm ahead of us. So let me show you the chart. All right, so if you guys can see the, uh, uh, we're just about here right now, where the white dot is. Uh, we chose kind of a middle of the road between all uh, six weather models. 
and we ended up going just slightly, uh, basically north, but just slightly to the east. Now with the Jenneker, we're actually going slightly to the uh, to the west, so we're kind of going this way, um, and there is really no way to tell which one is going to pan out because if you look down uh, today is Saturday if you look down at the you see the 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 calm is kind of disappearing before us and that's according to all weather models but then eventually we hit a second one and let me show you that one you see there's that big area where there is no wind blue is no wind and we want to pass through it in as little in, in the thinnest possible spot but the problem is I don't know if you see if I'm when I'm switching the weather models um, you see here it would seem to pay go to go to the west on this weather model on this weather model on the other hand it would seem to pay go to the east and avoid this big area here because here we still get some wind and we can keep going so here we've got a little bit but seems like we're going to be able to still kind of continue maybe with five knots of wind or something but not much but still and uh, another one this one seems to uh, spend yeah so about three of them show that the 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 uh, the, the calm spans east to west and we're not going to be able to avoid it altogether but now i guess it's just going to be a little bit of luck whether we hit the right spot and not spend too much time in that in the calm so this is the dilemma right now <laughs> and in the meantime in the meantime i'm using this uh, little tablet that we set up to uh pull email from okay, let's see no out on email receiving mail from server we've got one message so let's see who wrote us on our first night uh, let's see let's see let me see yeah. uh, I was me that was myself yesterday too bad <laughs> Bertku, dobry den. Dobry den. Jak ta? Super. <laughs> So okay, this is how I do rigging inspection on the way. Um, I just zoom in, use binoculars, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a twist on the on the halyard, which is uh, which is the line that uh, which is the line that uh, uh, raises the uh, the entire mainsail. So we're gonna have to untwist it. So 
so need for sleep is a mother of all inventions. Since this is making all kinds of noises, we just made up this out of uh, rollers for the anchor chain. And let's see what happens. Dobra, wracaj. No, kurwa, stary. To zaraz nie będzie genekera, jak takie Szybciej. akcje będziesz robić. To weź w rękę, jak trzeba. Ups. Okay guys, this is serious. Anya was doing some fishing because none of the men here have any freaking idea how to do it. And guess Oopsie. what? She must have uh, hit some giant shark because all we have left from our steel wire, well, is the remainder of the steel wire. And no bait, nothing, everything's gone. History. And uh, on a side note, we have a very romantic evening. Uh, sunset, courtesy of Mother Nature, beautiful. We're running a Jenneker, which we're about to switch to uh, to Genoa, and uh, Robertic is with me, so I'm a happy man. You know, things are good. And we, oh yeah, 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 the big thing. You guys see this? You guys see this? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yesterday we left at 6 p.m. with four eight uh, four seven five on the log, so it's exactly 200 miles in 24 hours. We are happy. Are we happy? Yes. <laughs> Listen up, this is serious. The Jack has found Bermuda Triangle. Yep, it's there. Let me, let me see. There it is. It's there. Voila. So just for those of you who don't know, the triangle is just a marker for the waypoint. But he's defending the theory that this is the Bermuda Triangle. We are impressed. So now we're uh, rolling down the Jenneker for the night and uh, we're gonna put up the Dini, Genoa. It's a lot more conservative this way, we can uh, carry the sails even after 30 knots. Whereas Jenneker is not, is very sensitive to high wind. So that's off. Okay, give us one minute.
Good evening. Mm -hmm. 24 hours into sailing. Uh, we're about over 200 miles uh, from our origin, from St. Martin. So we're doing all right. But now, according to the forecast, uh, we are losing some wind. So we're no longer doing like eight, nine knots, 10 sometimes. Instead, we're doing six, seven, and we have about 10 knots, nine knots of wind right now. So um, let's zoom in. This is North America, Caribbean, Europe, Africa. So we're gonna zoom in and I'll show you uh, what we're up against. Remember I was talking about um, the calm that's developing ahead of us? Well, it seems like we did just did the right thing and the forecast is holding, meaning as we're going forward, this is the current situation and we are right where the green dot is. And as we're going forward, the calm is sort of developing first, but then disappearing. And this is today is Saturday, Sunday on Monday. We're on, we're there. We're still, we can still use the, the mm, wind off the east. So a little bit of reaching here. And then we have another, a bit of calm over here. But as soon as we get here, give me a second, because I got a forecast for five days only. As soon as we get here, we start catching the westerly flow and then eventually we turn uh, to the east towards Europe and should have a nice ride from about this point and on. So, and that should be about Thursday, give or take, where we are in the clean uh, southwesterly flow. So, so far so good. So guys, movie night? Movie night, yes. So Gina was up. There is the weather is stable, so we decided for a movie night. Popcorn and movie. In the next episode, we still have good weather, so I'd like to take you around the boat for one of those daily inspections where I check for everything that can go wrong. I will also show you all our emergency equipment and how everything works, how everything is laid out and pretty much uh, what is our daily routine. Enjoy and see you next time.